Otra vez. If you think about all the advertisements for these cleft palate surgical repair missions, almost every picture you see is a still. Or if you see a video, the child's not talking. Why? Because it does take more. So we went to Guatemala to teach this group of 15 people who are going to work with kids post cleft palate surgery on how to provide the therapy. Many, many people in Latin America don't have access to any speech language pathologist trained or otherwise. Miriam and I teach uh, the cleft palate and craniofacial course here at Teachers College Columbia University in the graduate program of speech language pathology. We thought we can do it in five days and we'll have three hours to four hours in the morning of class and then we'll have three to four hours in the afternoon of clinic where we will show the students how to actually apply what they're learning to kids who've had a recent, you know, three-month-old cleft palate surgery. Tenemos mucha experiencia también en Ghana. Hemos visto niñas que vienen con habla así después de su regía. Trabajamos con las mamás, las enfermeras, les damos las estrategias y en el año que regresamos, en la niña, a los niños, hablan perfectamente bien. Entonces, es posible. When you have a cleft palate, so you have a hole in your palate, you don't have the anatomical structure to create many of the sounds needed in every language <laughs> across the world. After they get the surgery, the kids are left with these habits, born not of bad attitudes, but just of a lack of anatomical structure that now once it's been closed and repaired and healed, the children can learn to speak correctly or adults, depending on when they get their palate repaired. had our first medical mission last year in which we screened 346 patients and we were able to operate on 115. Oliver's family found out through a TV commercial, so he had his cleft repair surgery on December. Sorprendido de, de que hubiera nacido así, pues. Muchas personas se burlan De, de ellos cuando los escuchan hablar o, o, o cu inclusive cuando los miran, ¿verdad? O sea, se les quedan viendo así como que, que rarito. In Guatemala, most kids with cleft do not attend school because they are discriminated on. They mostly eh, stay in their houses. Yo estoy dispuesto a trabajar, o sea, hasta donde se pueda, ¿verdad? Con tal de que el nene aprenda bastante, ¿verdad? Children learn speech by imitating adults and other people who speak. His father came every single day. We saw Ali go from a child who had no focus on speech and just spoke the way he spoke to a child who was starting to even self-correct to the sounds that he could make within that short period of five days. The most important feature of our work internationally is that we actually create materials that can be used after we're gone. The tutorials are a way of having information readily accessible for free so the people who are there with kids who've had the surgery can get the help. What we're trying to do is expand that work out. What's interesting is in the World Health Organization's 2011 World Report on Disabilities, there was virtually no mention of people with communication disorders. 
people don't think about communication. But when you're a person or you're a family with someone with communication disorders, that need to express oneself is um, the highest priority. If we give them the skills and the strategies and the knowledge, and we've added another voice to the world that wouldn't be there otherwise. And to me, that's an enormous contribution.